Hello everyone, I'm Tracy Smith, the President of Numerical Insights, and I've been applying analytics to business problems for more than 25 years. I've helped brand name companies use analytics to save money, improve processes, and gain a deeper understanding of how different areas of their business are truly operating. We've created this series of videos to help smaller businesses understand how to use analytics to increase performance. Join me as I demonstrate the ways that you, the business owner or leader, can make better decisions using your own data. Owning a business comes with a great deal of challenges. The first is something I'll call the cash flow gap, which is the number one reason that smaller businesses can fail. In each of our videos, I'll help you understand a variety of business challenges and how to use analytics to understand and address them. To understand your business, you need to understand the concept of order to pay. Some people call this order to cash. If you're a manufacturer, initially you use cash to buy parts or raw materials. A customer places an order, the product is manufactured, and shipped out. You invoice your customer and generally in 30, 60, or 90 days, depending on the payment terms, you get paid. The cash flow gap is the fact that there can be a substantial number of weeks or months between the time you used cash at the start of this flowchart and the time that you receive payment. Your company needs enough cash to float this gap while still being able to pay ongoing business expenses. If you're not making your own product, your business that sells finished goods or perhaps you sell services. For product sellers, your initial cash outlay is for finished goods inventory. Receipt of customer payments may be from e-commerce platforms, credit card companies, or invoices, all of which likely have a delay in issuing cash back to your business. As your business becomes more successful, customer demand increases. That's obviously good news, but rapid growth is a scenario which catches many smaller businesses by surprise. Here's why. If you're selling products, you begin to buy more inventory to cover the larger demand. That ties up more cash in inventory and the amount of cash you need to cover the time between the initial outlay and receiving cash from sales gets larger and larger. A business can then run out of cash even though it has a large amount of money owed to it from past sales. Being able to show the analytics behind this situation can help you secure the proper business line of credit from your bank to bridge the cash flow gap. Being profitable on paper, i.e. in your accounting records, will not guarantee your success. Proper management of cash flow, in addition to profitability, will. What I have on the screen is a quick one-page dashboard to show how looking at your data makes a potential business issue very clear. This is simulated data to show what happens to cash flow under a growing business scenario. This company starts with 100000 in cash. They sell one product at a 20% markup, and they always sell through virtually all of their inventory each month. They also have some regular ongoing business expenses. The exact numbers aren't important here, so just focus on the concept. Demand for this business's product increases, and they start to order larger amounts of inventory, and the cost of their inventory grows each month. We can see that in the blue bars showing the cost of inventory. In the red chart, we can see their accounts receivable growing. This shows the amount of money they are expecting to collect from customers each month. If we now look at the bottom chart for cash on hand, we can see the impact of the fact that the money coming in lags a few months behind when cash goes out for inventory purchases. Looking in the middle of this chart, we see where cash on hand falls below zero and the company runs out of money. The challenge of a growing business is making it through the dip in the middle. The reason that the Small Business Association states that not enough cash is the second most popular reason that businesses fail is that if I run this same scenario and start the company off with more cash, the graph at the bottom will still have a dip, but the dip does not go below zero. The company does not run out of money. I hope this demonstrates the importance of using data to understand the impact of the cash flow gap on your business.